We're here after number three Avon beats number one Cathedral in three games and Scott McQueen the head coach is here and coach uh, that was an awful exciting game and uh, to come out and do it in three games did that uh, surprise you at all? Um, <laughs> we played well. I, I, we knew we could do it and we believed we could do it. Um, it just meant how we were executing on the court and they did a great job of playing to the scouting report. Did exactly what we wanted the whole match. Everybody played well, and that, I mean that's what you need in matches like that. Is you need people to step up and execute, and the girls just did a great job. I know your team was fully aware it was going to be a tough task to come in here and do this to Cathedral, but uh, tell me a little bit about the preparation and the uh, the attitude that your team had, how focused they were coming in. Well, I, real honestly, I think the attitude started during the summer when. You know, a lot of the seniors kind of stepped up and said, you know what, this is going to be a group effort. This is everybody. There are no freshmen. There are no seniors. It's everybody doing their job. Um, this week has been, I, this is an easy time to get kids to focus. I, before sectional started, they were all focused on Brownsburg. And, and obviously, we've been looking forward to playing Cathedral. We, we kind of saw that that might happen if we could uh, make it through sectionals. But... They did a great job of being excited about it. They were pretty confident going in, which is, I think, a little different from other years. We got on the bus after sectionals, and I asked if, we, if they thought they could beat Cathedral, and they all raised their hand. And I go, how about in previous years? And they're all, all their hands went down. And I was like, wait, I thought we could always do it. But I was proud. But they believed they could do it. They've been looking forward to the matchup, and now they just need to look forward to tonight as well. Let me ask you, from your perspective, the feeling once that final point was scored. I'm pretty good. I mean, it's I, my six years here and my three years at Franklin, we've had a lot of matchups with them, whether it's state finals or regional. And I mean, they're a great program. Gene does a great job and their kids are unbelievable athletes and players. And it just it took a good effort by the team. And that's, you know, it, it's pretty gratifying. It, it really is. But we got to really quickly get our heads back together and play tonight, too. Let's talk to a couple of players involved. Let's start over here. 25-20, 25-19, 28-26 the final as it's number three Avon over number one Cathedral. And uh, Holly, that big smile on your face says a lot right there. This has got to be pretty happy, pretty satisfying for you. It's absolutely exciting. I, I didn't even know what to do with myself after the game. I just cried because I was so happy. <laughs> Katie Griffin, you had a big, big game out there. And uh, just tell me about... Uh, how you played, but uh, but also the emotion that goes into this victory. Um, I think as a team, we all played with a lot of emotion. We're really excited, and I can't say anything for myself. My team was the what did it for me. My passers over here and my setter that did a great job, and then our defense pulled through, and that's all I can say for our team. Nobody really wants to take all the credit here, but Perry, <laughs> tell me about your feelings after this victory. I just everybody worked for each other, and I just I can't explain. Like it's just unbelievable. And now you guys have to get ready and come back yeah. tonight. Is that going to be a big? We're ready. We're ready. <laughs> Well, they're very excited here. Avon, a big-time win over number one Cathedral.